Hey guys, welcome back to the Off Grid Project. I am done uh, foaming the the uh, seams on all the insulation I put in. I used four cans, the taller cans of uh, this uh, low expanding foam. Um, everything looks a little messy right now. Um, I've got to wait till everything cures for 24 hours before I do anything and then I can come in here with my knife and just trim up what I think needs to be trimmed um, I bought two out two more extra cans because I ran out um, and I only needed uh, well I actually I bought four extra cans and used two up so I have two spares in case I got to foam in anything else um, I did the outside around the door, the entranceway. I got all the the joints here, all the way around the top, and down, and the bottoms. Some of the ones I didn't do on the bottoms because the insulation was sticking out quite a bit. Um, I'll give you an example here. those those three um, but yeah and there's another one there but yeah we're, we're, I'm uh, anxious to see um, tomorrow or the next day whenever I can get back here if we're not working um, what the temperature is going to be in here now um, it got cooler outside so uh, let's see what the temperature is on the gauge in here. Oh, it actually went up. So it's about 51 with a little lower humidity, which is good. You don't want a lot of humidity. Comfort level is normally about 40%. Um, in the winter time. <laughs> Not in the summer. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, it's looking good. It looks kind of funky with a bunch of um, these foam dots everywhere. But the, those easily break off. I did get some on the floor as well in spots. But they once they dry, they break off in one single chunk. So it's best to let them cure and then pop them up after the fact. Easiest way to clean those up. Um, I think it's going to turn out really well. And, uh, yeah, looks good so far. Um, once I let this cure for a day or two, um, I got to get rid of all this foam. I'm going to use some of it for the battery box. Um, when I build the battery box, so maybe I'll push it off into the corner, into the the far corner or something and then start putting up uh, I gotta get a bunch of quarter inch plywood um, sheets they're um, four by eight and I'm gonna just stand it stand them up I'm not gonna go uh, side with them I'm gonna stand them straight up screw them in um, and go from there I'm what I'll do on the floor though is I'm gonna draw a line with pencil or something out where each joist is or stud actually and that way when I screw everything in I can just put a ruler on against the floor and go up and draw another line then follow that line when I'm screwing all my holes so that's it for now guys talk to you later